So I work in a cardiovascular intensive care unit. So as the name implies, it's mostly cardiovascular disease. It's most commonly people who have either arrested, so their heart is completely stopped. And then um, that can be for a myriad of reasons. Um, most commonly, it's people who have blocked coronary arteries and have had a myocardial infarction. Um, I very commonly take care of patients um, post open heart recovery, so they've had to have all of their arteries around their heart um, replaced, and um, that is a very extensive surgery, and it's a um, very intricate recovery process. So I do a lot of that. We have patients who have more minimal interventions, have valves replaced that are not done via opening their chest, but other um, avenues in order to do some repairment that way. I also deal with, as we get an overflow or someone who has a failing heart, goes into multi-organ system dysfunction. So I then deal with people with respiratory failure and requiring mechanical ventilation. I deal with people in kidney failure that requires um, supplemental machinery to um, filter their blood and um, repair their acid-base balance and fluid balance. I deal with people who go into liver failure. I deal with people who um, get what we call septic, which is an infection of the bloodstream. And um, that has a, um, releases a, um, a chemical that makes the heart not pump very effectively. So we get a lot of those patients at well. Um, I mostly see patients in their most vulnerable, critical space. I typically, we typically have patients come in and out of our ICU for not a long amount of time, usually three or four days. Um, but when they are there, they are critically ill, usually um, sedated heavily on a lot of medications and machineries to support their function. Um, so most predominantly, I will say, cardiovascular related diseases. However, that spills into every organ of the body. How do I use physics in a day-to-day -day workflow? At first, I would never think I use physics at all, to be quite honest with you, until I really took a step back and reflected, um, what am I processing every day? And in actuality, I'm constantly dealing with physics in the matter of perfusion and blood flow, in the matters of velocity, pressure changes, um, different gradients that drive um, different transport mechanisms. I really didn't realize that that is truly um, encompassing physics so much. Physiology is something that I recognize that I do every day, um, but really breaking it down, um, that is indeed what I am measuring by every device that I put on my patient. I am measuring uh, the flow of blood throughout the body and its effectiveness or its resistances um, or impedances. So I'm learning now through this endeavor of meeting you that I actually do deal with physics every day um, with a different vocabulary around some of the physics is different in um, my world. I have different discussions that refer to, I think, um, concepts of physics, but have just a different language. Um, and now I'm, I'm actually quite excited to make that connection, connection and realize that I do deal with physics and it's something that I need to be aware of um, because the more I'm aware of that, the more effective that I can be um, to create interventions to improve that um, impairment that I discover.